Okay guys, so you're zoomed up close and personal. Yes, I have no makeup on. I just squeezed a spot. This is probably not a good day to film this type of video, but I'm just gonna go with it anyway. So um, these are my brows. No products are on my brows. Um, I haven't actually threaded my brows for about five weeks. So it is best to do something like this when you've got nice fresh brows. However, this is not really a tutorial. It's more a comparison video. So hopefully you guys will appreciate that. So as I said at the beginning of the video, I'll be comparing the ABH Dip Brow Pomade and the um, Freedom Dip Brow Pomade. So I'm going to use the ABH on this brow and Freedom on that brow. So these are both in the shade Ebony which I will show you the colours now. Okay. So hopefully you can see this much better because the focus on my camera is just acting up. So this one here is the ABH um, Dip Brow Pomade and this one is the Freedom one. The ABH one is more deeper, um, a bit more darker and the Freedom one is more of like an ash brown. So, so for my brow on the right hand side, I'm going to use my ABH one. Now I'm just going to fill in my brows. I'm not going to really talk through because it's not really a tutorial. I'm just pretty much showing you guys the product. So hopefully you appreciate that. So let go. is done now the thing is what I don't like about not threading my brows is that I have to like draw my brows so like sluggish to then shake them nicely with concealer but you'll always see the results at the end so now I'm gonna go with the freedom one on my left brow Okay, so those are my brows done. So now to get concealer to help out these bad boys. Now the concealer I like to use is the Edda Girl Pro Conceal. This is in the shade Toes. This is literally like my favorite concealer. I go through these like there's no tomorrow. They're very inexpensive and they just do the job when it comes to like cleaning around my brows. So I'm just gonna pull some at the back of my hand there. And I'm just going to use a flat shading brush like so. And this is from Makeup Addiction. And then basic just tidy around my brows so these are the eyebrows done which i'm not impressed with them because i can't do my eyebrows on camera um i suffer with traumas or traumas where i have like very shaky hands so to hold a mirror and to do it is like a real challenge for me but these are my brows so far oh well basically these are my brows <laughs> to the end of the video um i would usually set my brows but i can't find my benefit um, set brow gel um, and I can't be bothered to look for it so I'm just gonna do a bit something to my face to add a little bit of color to my face um, not really a full glam and then we can get on to the review so in this video we were testing out the two products so I hope everyone appreciates that this was not a tutorial this was a comparison video so we've got the Anastasia and the Freedom one so the Anastasia has 4.0 grams worth of product this retails for £15 if you are based in the UK you can get this from either Cult Beauty or Beauty Bay with the Freedom one it has 2.5 grams worth of product this retails for £5 which you can get from Superdrug or Tan Beauty if you are based in the UK so to quickly compare the two products this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills and this is the Freedom one so in terms of the consistency I would definitely say the Anastasia one is a bit more moist I know people don't really like to use that word but that is the only way for me to describe it um, you probably can even see on my hand it has more of a sheen to it and then in comparison to the Freedom one so in terms of how much product to use you do need to be careful one little dip it does go a long way so you know light strokes and building up is best with the color you can definitely say that the Anastasia one is more deeper and darker and um, with a gray undertone to it and the Freedom one is more of an ash brown so depending what kind of color that you like on your brows is really up to you but to to me, to be honest, like when I use these products, I don't really see the major difference. And especially now I've done one of each brow with different products, I don't really see a major difference. But sometimes I do have a love-hate relationship in terms of the colour of the Anastasia one because it does have the tendency to make my brows to look more darker of what 
I want, if that makes sense. So the bottom line and the number one question, which one would you go for or which one I would choose if I didn't have either of them? And if I know the knowledge before I bought them, to be honest, I would just get the Freedom one. The Anastasia one was my first um, dip brow pomade because before I always used to use pencil, but then I wanted to join the hype as per usual. So this was the one that I picked up first. Afterwards, I picked up this one. And to be honest, they both work exactly the same. So from a price point point of view, I would just go for the Freedom one because it's cheaper. And especially if you're a type of person that you do your eyebrows more than using like face products, you're just gonna benefit this more. There's literally no major difference. I love both of these products and I'm pretty sure there's other drugstore or um, alternatives like NYX for example um, so I'm not knocking off Anastasia but from like a beginner friendly point of view the Freedom one would work perfectly fine. So yeah guys that is the review on both of these products so they both get thumbs up from me if you do have any of these products let me know in the comment section down below but I will leave links in the description box below as well if you are interested if you are new and this is the first time you're watching one of my videos thank you so much for passing by and I hope you stay around so make sure you hit that subscribe button and press that bell button so you can get notified when i upload my videos to my old subscribers thank you so much once again for coming back and watching my videos even though if you're not one of them ones that comment for you to thumbs up or to watch it it's all good and hood so thank you very much for that and this is the end of moi and i hope to see you lot in my next video bye